Hi everyone, it's me Susie. I have to work in the lighting the way I have with this phone. Anyway, it's not important. The Lord was just showing me something in a, in a... As I was laying there trying to hear from him about a, a flash dream I had about something. And that something represents the sting of death. If we want to have victory over death, the sting of death. We need to find eternal life in which death will have no sting. The sting of death is, is when your soul is damned to hell for all of eternity. I just woke up with this and the Lord wants me to share that there is no victory in this life of, of, of this world. There's only victory in Christ or you will see the sting of death defeat you and you'll be cast into the lake of fire forever. So you must find the truth. And again, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. Jesus said that. For God so loved the world that he gave us his one and only Son, that whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. There is life in Christ. You will not see death. You'll be resurrection. You will, you will be resurrected to eternal life in Christ. Whether it's from the grave or in the rapture. If you die before the rapture, your body will be, your soul and your, your soul and your spirit will immediately be in heaven with God, and you will be awaiting your new glorified body. Um, once the time of the rapture occurs, which is any moment it could be. And that's, that's just all you really need to be concerned about in this life is to focus on obtaining eternal life, everlasting life, and avoiding, avoiding being damned to hell by following Jesus. Follow Jesus and you will avoid eternal death and hell. The tribulation is going to be horrific when, when after the rapture occurs and whenever after that the seven year tribulation begins, God will pour out his wrath on this sinful world and all who are left behind. If they don't choose Jesus and have to sacrifice their lives in the tribulation, through torment and whatever it takes, just so you don't renounce the name of Jesus and take the mark of the beast. Everyone else, you will be tormented greatly. And you'll wish to die. And death will not come. You'll suffer. It won't be anything like the life you're living now. If you're, if you're ignoring Jesus because your life you, you think is so great here now, surely you have seen the greatest you'll ever see and you've come closest to heaven that you'll ever get and you'll have eternal death and hell if you don't choose Jesus before it's too late. Jesus awaits you. He, God, God loves you so much. Please, the end is near of the, of the life the way you know it, very near. It's probably already in your past. If you look out in the world, you'll see that you're not able to obtain, uh, uh, maintain the life you used to have or want. The life you truly want forever, though, that's an eternity with Jesus in heaven. And there's only one way to get there, and that's through the, the Lord Jesus Christ. You must surrender your hearts to Jesus. 
This is no joke. This is no myth or theory. This is truth. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, and you cannot get to the Father but through Him. And those who trust and believe in Him will see that. And those who don't, it'll be too late, and you'll wish you did. There's more to this, based on a, a flash dream I had, and I'm waiting for more to tell you about that. And a sister in Christ, um, also Amanda Lynn, had a very similar vision of the same thing. So um, if there is anything to that, which I think there is to warn you of, those of you who are um, not saved yet, you'll want to hear it. So, um, and those of you who are, we need to send out the warnings when we get dreams or visions like this, um, like, like I had and like many of us get. Don't ignore them, please. Even though they may sound silly to you, they may be confirmation to others and warnings to those who are not saved and don't believe. Because God is pouring out his spirit, as it says in the book of Acts, chapter 2. Um, you know, he will pour out his spirit upon all men. And we will have dreams and visions. And we are in those days. Pay attention, please. This is nothing to joke about or to make fun of or to mock and scoff. Because you will have your place somewhere in this story of life and death. Life or death. You must choose. God bless you. And pray about it. Really, God bless you. In Jesus' name.